back to the channel. It's Kevin again here with Yurkin Racing. Super excited today. As you can see, we got the Prime Weld box out here in front of me. Um, it is the Cut 60 Plasma Cutter. Really excited to get to that. A quick backstory on the channel. Some of y'all may know if you've been following for a while. A couple years ago, we picked up the Prime Weld TIG 225X machine over here. You know, it's been a great addition to the shop. Absolutely zero problems with it. So as soon as we started thinking about a plasma cutter, you know, no questions asked. We're going right back to Prime Weld. And I'm sure it's going to do a great job for us. So like I said, I'm really excited to get in it. Um, Prime Weld decided to come on as a sponsor for the channel. Can't thank them enough and excited for the opportunity to work with them. Uh, they provided us with a discount code that I'll put down in the description for you. Give you $25 off of a purchase of 100 or more on the website. So be sure to check that below if you're interested in picking up anything you see here or something different. Um, with that said, guys, let's jump right in. Let's see what's in the box. Really excited. Let's get to it. All right, so straight out of the gate, we have our user manual. Um, full color user manual. You know, pretty high quality. Same way with the TIG machine. When we got that, it had the same type of manual with it. You know, really high end stuff. Packaging wise, hopefully, let me see if we can lean it a little bit so you can see it. High density foam on the top and everything's packaged in real secure. You don't have a lot of moving around parts and pieces in there. Very thick foam, so like you're really not gonna hurt the machine and transport unless they just run over it. Next thing we have is a box. Okay, that's gonna be our power cables and our leads, ground cable. Next box up is our torch and a couple of tips for it and then last but not least we have our machine and like i said super thick foam around it we can get it out of there there we go all right initial thoughts on just picking it up out the box is quite heavy um yeah definitely not extremely light it feels substantial, you know, it doesn't feel like cheaply made. It feels, like I said, sturdy, heavy duty, uh, just like I expected from Prime Wheel. So nothing different there. Same way with the TIG machine. Like I said, if, you're, if you haven't been following the channel and you're new to it, when we got that, it was the same way. Packaged just as nice. Everything just like you want to see it. So that's it for what comes in the box. Quick and easy, right? Now we're just going to go ahead, we're going to transfer it over to the welding cart over here and uh, we'll see if we make some test cuts on it. Let's go. Alright, quick and easy, there we have it. Right on to the setup. Alright. Got a protective cap we got to remove. Should be just as simple. It's got pins in there, so don't force anything. Uh, should only go one way. So line it up with the keyway and screw it in. Do not over tighten it. It's plastic. We don't want to break it. Good and snug and leave it alone. And same thing for our ground. Put it in, turn it, and it's done. One of the next things we're going to look at in this shop is going to be cable management on this thing. I need to do a little bit better with three machines on one cart. It's just a lot of, a lot of cords, a lot of cables. All right, it does also, if you don't have 220 in your garage, it comes with an adapter for your 110, so that's nice. Like I was saying before, this machine here is CNC capable, and it comes with this plug adapter thing that I believe is for the CNC part of it. I got to read the manual to find out, but I believe that's what that plug is for. This here is something that I ordered separate, um, extra. This doesn't come in the box normally, uh, but it's drag tips for it and a couple, just a couple of extra tips basically. I uh, figured, you know, it's one, I haven't used a plasma cutter much, so, and I know they go through consumables quite a bit. So I just want to have a few extra on hand to get started with and uh, we'll see how they go. If it's 
you know, a real problem and we're burning through them fast and I'll have to just, you know, pick up some more. But I think, you know, this will at least get us started. And it also comes with a face shield and screen for eye protection as well as like a little brush and chip and hammer also. One thing to note is you will need your own air adapter or at least for mine it didn't come with it. Uh, no big deal but just something to have on hand and know that you're going to need it. Most shops probably do but yeah, like I said just wanted to throw that in there. All right, we got everything hooked up and like we need it, we're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on and we're gonna go over some of our settings here. Uh, so we have an adjustment knob for our amps here, go up to 60 amps and then on this is our post flow knob. So we can adjust that where we need it to. And then our 2T and 4T settings. From what I understand, that has to do with um the trigger on the actual torch here so like if i squeeze the trigger one time and i let it go the cut if i have it on 2t if i squeeze it and let it go it'll turn off if i have it on 4t from what i understand you squeeze it and it'll stay on you know until you hit it again basically the other thing we can do is we hit this switch up and it'll allow us to set our air pressure that we want so like right there the gauge is reading out at 55 if we need a little more pull the knob out and just turn the dial up now we're at 60 and we can go to a max of 75 which would be right up there but um, basically turn it to where you want it push it back in and you're good to go um, so that's pretty straightforward only thing we got to do now grab us some metal see if we can make some practice cuts with it all right one other thing i'd like to point out is the ground clamp itself has the nice copper strap inside of it so that's a pretty nice touch there definitely a, de a pretty decent clamp all right so first thing i'm going to attempt to cut with it is just to straighten off this piece it's a little um, tabletop piece i use on top of the cart just going to try to straighten that edge out so we're not trying to catch any of the corners when we're walking around it uh, i'm going to start out by it's about an eighth of an inch piece so i'm going to set it to i think i'm going to start out around 20 amps and about 30 psi all right so we'll lock that in there back to 2t and again um, that should be you know pull the trigger hold it and then when you release it it'll turn off and uh, we'll try it again with the 4t on something else where you just pull it and it locks it in and then you squeeze the trigger one more time to get it to stop. All right, so to be honest, that one was kind of slow. Uh, I don't know if it was the amps were too low or what. Definitely, like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with a plasma cutter so we're learning as we go here brand new to me um, i've done it one other time but i didn't have to set the thing up so anyway we're gonna give it another run here i moved the thing over a little bit let's see if we can make this one any better All right, so yeah, that last setting was a lot better. Um, just moving it up a little bit more amps. Went ahead and cleaned it up quite a bit. I'm gonna come back one more time now and I'm gonna even this piece up and uh, we should be good to go. 
this time I'm even going to go slightly higher, go 5 amps up to 35. Uh, we were at 30 last time. And I think I'm going to even increase the, well, I'll leave the PSI about where it was at. I think I have it on 40. So we're going to do that 35 amps, 40 PSI. And let's see how it cuts now. Alright, so a lot better on that one. Um, definitely it just seems to like a little bit more amps with this thickness of material here. So uh, pretty pleased with that. I still got some work to do on getting myself more steady. Um, obviously you can see it in the cut marks that that's, but that's all operator error. That's just me. I got to learn how to get it dialed in and get myself where I need to be. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try now to cut a piece of aluminum and see how that goes. All right, I got some, this right here is quarter inch aluminum. I'm gonna go ahead and see how to do on that. Probably gonna need more amps if I had to guess. Just crank it up, see what it'll do. First aluminum cut. Like I said, guys, don't hold me accountable right now. I got a lot of growing to do. All right, guys, so that's the cut that we ended up making. Uh, like I said, not too bad. This little spot here was already notched back, so we just couldn't get that straight in line with it. But the cut is straight. You can see it's got a little bit of uh, waviness to it. That's just uh, where I'm not that good at cutting, so. Uh, you have to forgive that it did cut the aluminum it looks really bad and that was hot but yeah it looks really bad <laughs> but again that's all operator error i just don't know what i'm doing yet we got merch up on the site hats hoodies um, i'll have a link down in the description for that as well i appreciate you guys coming along for the ride guys we'll see you on the next one thanks and god bless